You can also customize the layout of your activities. Right click, choose columns, and you have a wide variety of options here. So which columns you want to present based on what you are trying to review. You can show the percentage complete. You can also show a lot of information here for the duration part. You can show total float. It depends on your category, earned value, something general. Is it related to longest path or not? What is the WBS? So basically everything related to the activity, you can show it here for columns and you can review it this way. You can also use the fill down option to create a schedule much faster. You click OK after that and you have list of columns and you can change the orders by moving up and down here. You can also make a shortcut, for example, the activity percentage complete here, but I want to make it last. So you click on it, you drag, you leave the mouse. And you also you can sort by start date. So this is start date descending or ascending. Or by total float amount. Each column has this function sort. And this is also the Gantt chart part. This is the timeline. So you can show months here. But what if I want to show weeks or days? So right click time scale. You want to show two lines only or three lines. So for two lines, you want to show here it's year and the month. You can also show month and week. Then click OK. So it will give you this presentation. And here this is the starting of the week. So 5th of September. This is the week. And here until 12th of September. So this is the week interval. You can also show week and the day. So this is August 15. So it will be on Sunday, then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So this is also another presentation of the Gantt chart. And for ordinal dates, it's without any specified date. So if you click on ordinal date and you want it by month, so this is month one, two, three, this is maybe applies for tender projects because the project is not awarded yet you do not have start date yet for the project but you know that on the second month i'm doing this work so this is your proposal for executing the project work you can also have three lines so let's get back to the showing primary dates and disable that so for date interval i want to show month and week and click apply so it has three lines now so it shows you the year itself if you have larger project so it will maybe span up to three years so you show here the year which month in this year and the weeks so this is for the three lines you can also right click and go to bars and you have here all list of bars so you click which one you want to display for level of effort actual work so here I'm showing the remaining work which is the planned work in case of baseline so you can maybe format this the bar style which color you want and the patterns for the bar settings you can leave it as it is okay so in case also you show it baseline so you can this is a summary bar the black one you can also customize it if you want so how it looks like the shape and everything so, so it will be increased but the maximum here is three so this is for the bars you can go to bar chart options and see the progress lines so you can also show the width and height some formatting data date here in the baseline i will run the program on this yellow bar you can choose the style is it thin line is it dot you know just some formatting but typically the default presentation of the bars are you know sufficient and people also are used to it so for many practitioners they are used to the green bar for the planned work red bar for the actual work and the black bar with these nodes 
is it for the summary bars so many practitioners are used to it so i do not recommend you change much of it but i just wanted to have this tutorial so you know that you can customize the formatting you can show more bars and format it the way you want to present it in the next video we will talk about activity defaults